Hi everyone, my name is Kathy Weissen and I'm a physical therapist at Hospital for Special Surgery. I'm here today to show you some pre-run dynamic stretches that you can incorporate into all of your training runs and your workouts as you prepare to train this summer. Pre-run dynamic stretches are important because they take your joints and your muscles through their full range of motion. They can also help to improve your speed and agility and may actually prevent you from sustaining injuries throughout your training season. The first exercise are high knees and butt kicks. This will help with the motion in our hips, specifically our hamstrings and our quads. When you perform this exercise, you wanna stand nice and tall. For your high knees, you're thinking of bringing your knees to your chest to move that hip through its full range of motion. For your butt kicks, you wanna think about bending at the knee and bringing your heel towards your buttocks to a comfortable range of motion. For each of these exercises, I would recommend performing for 20 to 30 seconds in an open area where you have plenty of room to move. Number two, walking lunges. A walking lunge is where you step forward with one leg, bringing the other knee almost down to the ground, but not specifically landing on the ground. You wanna think of keeping a nice upright posture and your back straight, not leaning forward at the waist, and you should feel this in your butt muscles. Number three, floor sweeps. This is a great exercise to help you loosen up the hamstrings and the calf muscles. You wanna think about hinging at your hips and keeping your back straight as you move through this motion. Number four is a walking hip rotation. You wanna be moving forward when you perform this, moving slowly through the motion. You're going to step forward with one leg and bring the opposite knee to the middle of your body, then slowly rotating the knee out to the side to loosen up your hip joint. You wanna keep your body in a nice upright position and make sure that you keep your hips and pelvis level while performing this exercise. Number five are leg swings. You'll wanna perform this in a nice upright posture, holding onto something for support. You can start by moving your leg laterally and out to the side for about 10 repetitions. This motion will help you loosen up your hip joint along with activate the glute or the buttocks muscles. Then you can perform swinging the leg forward and backward, holding onto a stable surface for about 10 repetitions. This will also help you to loosen up your hip joint and activate the muscles in and around the hip joint. You can incorporate this routine into any of your training sessions or your runs. I'm Kathy Weissen from Hospital for Special Surgery and happy training.